All right, we are now going to work on sentences a little bit and different types of sentences. You should be on day five. It should look like this. And we are also going to be doing the back that looks like this. There is a video on Schoology that focuses on both of these if you need to refresh your mind. B and we have already worked on these on school in school. So basically, this paper, you're filling in the blanks. Um, each of your word bank up at the top, those are each going to go into one of the sentences that are on the page, and I'm going to read those to you. Um, I suggest as you use them, you mark them out so you know that you can't use them again. Um, by the time we had reached the summit, we blank three miles. Hawaii blanked a state since 1959. When her youngest brother was born, she blanked from high school already. I blank the ukulele every day this week, and I need a break. My family blank this TV show since it first aired nine years ago. By the time the episode is over, the detective blank both cases. The hiker blank out of the rattlesnake venom by the time paramedics arrived. The marine biologist blanked octopuses for eight years. They rode as fast as they could, but the thief blank the cave two minutes earlier. So um, I'm going to go ahead and read the tense, the perfect tense verbs up at the top that you might be filling into these sentences. The first one is has been, had entered, has watched, had, suc had suctioned, have practiced, have had graduated, will have hiked, will have solved, or has studied. Um, what you need to look for in order to fill these into the sentences, look for what the verbs are in the sentence and what the verbs are in the word bank. Um, lastly, at the bottom, write three sentences, each containing one of the following perfect tense verbs. So you are going to be writing three extra sentences. You can do that on the back because there's not a ton of room on the front. Um, have swum, had stopped, will have chosen. Those are the three that you have to use in a complete sentence. Oh, well, you can't write those on the back, but if you just want to write them here or here and then on the line, that's totally fine. You can put them over this way, over here, down here. That's totally fine. Um, the next one, we're going to be doing simple compound and complex sentences. So your um, instructions are read the sentences and write on the line whether the sentence is simple, compound, or complex. These facts are all true. So gelatin, which is an animal protein, dates back to over 4,000 years to the Egyptian pharaohs. So is that simple, compound, or complex? Just remember, a simple sentence is just what that is. It's just a simple sentence. A compound, we know most of the time we're looking for comma, conjunction to make it a compound sentence and then a complex sentence is exactly what that means it's more than just like one simple sentence that we're putting together it could be two simple sentences put together to make it complex um, a lot of times you will find a comma in a complex sentence so gelatin which is an animal protein dates back to over 4,000 years to the Egyptian pharaohs and if you're not sure um, I know some of these can be confusing you can always if you don't see a comma conjunction but you see a comma um go with your best gut your best get for with your best guess um go with your guts um maybe if you don't see comma conjunction then put it as a complex sentence so number one gelatin which is an animal protein dates back to over four thousand years to the egyptian pharaohs number two gelatin gives gummy bears a chewy texture number three since gummy bears are made from gelatin, they are not a vegetarian-friendly candy. Number four, in the 1980s, there was a cartoon about six gummy bears with magical powers. It was called Adventures of the Gummy Bears. Number five, a five-pound gummy bear is equal to 1,400 regular-sized gummy bears. Number six, the Charlie Candy Company spells the candy's name Gummy Bear but the Haribo Candy Company spells it Gummy Bear. Number seven, the Gummy Bear was originally called the Dancing Bear or the Gold Bear. 
Number eight, I Am a Gummy Bear is a very silly song, but it is also very popular. Number nine, I am a moving, grooving, jamming, singing gummy bear. And number 10, although gummy bears are fat free, they are full of sugar and calories. So just go with your best guess if you're not sure. Um, watch the videos on Schoology if you have access to that. Um, and if you don't, then just make your best guess.